Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer. My name is Sue. I am part of the Kidderminster Izmir team and a uh, minister or lay minister in training. If this is the first time, then you are very welcome. Uh, if you've been with me before, you are also very welcome. It is a privilege for me to be able to share prayers with you over social media at this challenging and difficult time. You may have noticed some services that have been streamed from the Church of England over this weekend have been from inside churches. The instructions at the moment are that one person um, may go into a church. They may take their own household with them, uh, but that is it. So if you have seen services streamed from church, that will be the situations under which they are uh, recording. I am hoping that maybe towards the end of this week that I will be able to go into St Mary's to uh, pray with you there. Uh, I will let you know, um, it will probably be Saturday morning, um, and I'll just need to see whether I can do it live or not, it will depend on the network. But anyway, we take a moment just to still ourselves and to bring us into a place ready to pray to and listen to God. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory for ever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land, so now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm for today is Psalm 71. O God, be not far from me. In you, O Lord, do I seek refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness deliver me and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be for me the stronghold to which I may ever resort. Send out to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of the evildoer and the oppressor. For you are my hope, O Lord God, my confidence even from my youth. Upon you have I leaned from my birth, when you drew me from my mother's womb. My praise shall be always with you. I have become a portent to many, but you are my refuge and my strength. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Do not cast me away in the time of old age. Forsake me not when my strength fails. For my enemies are talking against me, and those who lie in wait for my life take counsel together. They say, God has forsaken him. Pursue him and take him because there is none to deliver him. O God, be not far from me. Come quickly to help me, O my God. Let those who are against me be put to shame and disgrace. Let those who seek to do me evil be covered with scorn and reproach. But as for me, I will hope continually and will praise you more and more. 
my mouth shall tell of your righteousness and salvation all the day long. For I know no end of the telling. I will begin with the mighty words of the Lord God. I will recall your righteousness, yours alone. O God, you have taught me since I was young, and to this day I tell of your wonderful works. Forsake me not, O God, when I am old and grey-headed, till I make known your deeds to the next generation and your power to all that are to come. Your righteousness, O God, reaches to the heavens. In the great things you have done, who is like you, O God? What troubles and adversities you have shown me, and yet you will turn and refresh me and bring me from the deep of the earth again. Increase my honour, turn again and comfort me. Therefore will I praise you upon the harp for your faithfulness, O my God. I will sing to you with the lyre, O Holy One of Israel. My lips will sing out as I play to you, and so will my soul which you have redeemed. My tongue also will tell of your righteousness all the day long, for they shall be shamed and disgraced who sought to do me evil. O God, be not far from me. Faithful Lord, living Saviour, in youth and old age, from the womb to the grave, may we know your protection and proclaim your great salvation to the glory of God the Father. Amen. And our reading today is from Luke chapter 4, verses 38 to the end. After leaving the synagogue, he entered Simon's house. Now, Simon's mother-in-law was suffering from a high fever, and they asked him about her. Then he stood over her and rebuked the fever, and it left her. Immediately she got up and began to serve them. As the sun was setting, all those who had any who were sick with various kinds of diseases brought them to him, and he laid his hands on them and cured them. Demons also came out of many, shouting, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them and would not allow them to speak because they knew that he was the Messiah. At daybreak he departed and went into a deserted place, and the crowds were looking for him, and when they reached him they wanted to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God to the other cities also, for I was sent for this purpose. So he continued proclaiming the message in the synagogues of Judea. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O death, is your sting? We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? The Benedictus. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, 
to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. For our prayers at the start of this week, uh, I'm just going to introduce some short times of silence with a sentence. So reflect on the sentence, bring your own thoughts and concerns, thanks and praise to God in the silence. So let us pray to God the Father, who has reconciled all things to himself in Christ. For peace among the nations, that God may rid the world of violence and let people grow in justice and harmony. For those who serve in public office, that they may work for the common good. For Christian people everywhere, that we may joyfully proclaim and live our faith in Jesus Christ. For those who suffer from hunger, sickness or loneliness. Those who suffer in pain or anguish. Those who are in grief. May the presence of Christ bring them health and wholeness. commend ourselves, the week ahead, and all for whom we pray, to the mercy and protection of God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God of life, who for our redemption gave your only begotten Son to the death of the cross, and by his glorious resurrection have delivered us from the power of our enemy, grant us so to die daily to sin that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his risen life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. 
give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank you for joining me again this morning. I look forward uh, to praying with you again tomorrow morning. I hope that whatever it is you are doing today, that you are able to reflect God's glory to the world, to everyone you meet. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless.